10 lesser known facts about the Italian giallo, the bird with the crystal plumage. Beautiful plumage. The plumage don't enter into it. Dario Argento's The Bird with the Crystal Plumage stands as a seminal work in the giallo genre, but beyond its well-known status, there are intriguing details that often escape the spotlight. Here are 10 lesser-known facts about this iconic film. Origins in American pulp While Dario Argento is credited as the sole writer, the film's narrative closely mirrors the 1949 pulp novel The Screaming Mimi by American writer Frederick Brown. Argento's exposure to the source material came through director Bernardo Bertolucci, who contemplated purchasing the film rights before Argento's involvement. International influence, the storyline of The Bird with the Crystal Plumage, is thought to draw inspiration from the early Mario Bava Giallo, The Girl Who Knew Too Much, 1963, which shares a thematic element of a witness to a murder realizing their misconception about the victim. Evolution of Giallo tropes the film introduced the now iconic Giallo trope of the killer's attire, black raincoat, hat, and gloves, a motif that became a standard in subsequent Giallo films after its inception in Mario Bava's Blood and Black Lace, 1964. Script evolution initially, Argento had no intention of directing the film. However, after multiple directors declined the project, he assumed the directorial role himself. He and his assistant heavily revised the script during filming, gradually diverging from Brown's original novel. International casting through a co-production arrangement with West German studio CCC Film, the film featured a diverse cast including American, Italian, and German actors. Notably, American actor Tony Musani was cast in the lead role, his second collaboration with Argento after Medi, Una Sera Asina. Filming locations, principal photography occurred primarily on location in Rome, with additional scenes shot at the Insur de Pauli sound stages. The race course sequence was filmed at the Agnano race course in Naples, lending authenticity to the film setting. Language adaptation to appeal to international audiences, the film was primarily shot in English with all dialogue and fully dubbed in post-production. This facilitated wider distribution and accessibility, but also required meticulous coordination for seamless integration. Musical collaboration, The Bird with the Crystal Plumage, marked the first collaboration between Dario Argento and renowned composer Ennio Morricone. Morricone's evocative score added depth and tension to the film, establishing a lasting partnership between the two. Critical reception and awards despite initial challenges during production, the film received positive reviews upon release. It garnered a nomination for an Edgar Allan Poe Award for Best Motion Picture in 1971 and secured a place on Empire Magazine's 500 Greatest Movies of All Time list. Director as the killer in a notable twist, director Dario Argento himself assumed the role of the killer in certain parts of the film, rather than actress Eva Renzi. This creative decision adds an intriguing layer to the film's production and showcases Argento's versatility behind and in front of the camera. While The Bird with the Crystal Plumage continues to be celebrated for its suspenseful narrative and stylish direction, these lesser-known facts shed light on the intricate craftsmanship and historical significance behind this enduring classic of Italian cinema.